We're here with Hendrik Streck at the Conference on Retrovirology, and he is going to talk with us today about immune-based therapies that are uh, looking a little bit like they might be able to move out of basic science and into clinical research at some point. You're with the Partners Research Group at Harvard Medical School, and uh, that has done a lot of good work in the past. Let's see. Let's hear from you what, where you're at right now and try to turn it into uh, jargon that the community can understand. Okay. okay. Do the best. Um, so I'm working with Markus Altfeld, primarily focusing on the acute phase of the infection, like the very early phase where we know by now that uh, there's the first determination of disease outcome. Like there were studies which show that the virus set point very early in infection after the acute phase actually determines what the further outcome of disease progression is. So we know by now that this is mainly driven by CD8 cells, this drop in viral load, this decrease, this control over viral replication. And um, we were screening for immune responses at this early phases and um, think we have some sort of idea why some people have a slow disease progression and some people have a rapid disease progression, or most of them, of course, like a mediocre, um, moderate disease outcome. But some of the, some of the people, uh, you really haven't been able to make a, a strong correlation or determination at this point, so you need further research. And can you tell us where you're going with that research? Well, we um, know by now that subjects who have a slow disease progression and expressing certain features on their cells, that they are able to uh, see a very particular region within GAG and within P24, which is like a few amino acid long. We don't know how long this region is, but um, we think that when we are able to target this region or force other um, immune cells to see this region, that we can maybe um, have an accomplishable goal for um, a pre not a preventive, but a, uh, but, a, um, but a therapeutic vaccine. So you'll, you'll maybe change the, uh, the pathogenesis of the disease, the way it would normally construct and yeah. move into pathogenesis. To have a better control over viral replication. Through an immune-based immune therapy, yeah. right. Uh, how do you, what got you into the field of immune-based therapies? I mean, you, it's so much in going on in virology, yeah. and I know that our community has said, please, let's keep on looking at the immune-based therapy, so we appreciate what you're doing. But um, there's, there's now a lot more work in that area. Do you feel... How do you feel you're sizing up? Are you uh, a pretty much of a leader in this area? Well, I, I start off very new. Um, yeah. I um, graduated from medical school in 2006 and uh, did my PhD um, beside that uh, on treatment in acute infection, uh, mm -hmm. what I presented last year. And, um, but, so I'm pretty much, I joined this lab now for six months and I'm starting to take mm -hmm. off but it's uh, very early to say which way we are going, but we think that it might be um, that we can actually change the immunology, really, and change the, by changing the immune out, uh, the, by the immunology, changing the disease outcome. So what would be the next steps? Where, where would you go from there? You've got the HLA markers that you're looking at. Um, how is that going to shape up in, as far as learning the research you need to make the next step? So uh, there are several steps we have to do okay. before that. So we, we want to first figure out by forcing in vitro um, cells to actually be able to recognize this region. We want to see if, it's, if we can force um, HLA types, which are very common um, or expressed by subjects who have a rapid disease outcome. We want to mm -hmm. force them to see and, uh, if they can recognize this region. That's the first step we are taking now. And then, then what would your next step be? Or, 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 or do you have to wait for the outcome of that before you can determine where you go next? It would be smarter to that, wait for yeah, the outcome. Okay. But um, we will certainly go then with a, an approach companies to see if we can actually uh, uh, design this small molecule okay. to see. So um, are you, do you feel, uh, how do you feel about this moving forward? Do you think this is something that would happen to move into preclinical, maybe a clinical uh, research within maybe the next, what, three to five years? So we can get more answers. I certainly, there are so many studies coming out right now to show that uh, GAG is important 
the targeting of GAC. Mm -hmm. And there's so many studies which actually can, we're sort of uh, getting light now in this whole story about B57, B27, why mm -hmm. it might be important. Mm -hmm. And um, so I, I certainly think that we are on the way to, um, uh, to really use this knowledge now to move into vaccine design right. of this. So this is something that, that would be more or less used as a vaccine. Would it be like a, so it'd be a therapeutic or, and, it, and this could also be something that may be used uh, for other diseases. It might not just be for HIV. It could be translate maybe, you think? Um, well, some findings we have are certainly translatable uh, into um, other fields of research. For example, like this topics of immunodominance patterns, immunodomination, how the functionality of the cells are changing. Uh, these are all subjects which are highly interesting and nobody really knows um, when a T cell can kill mm -hmm. an infected cell. We don't know this yet. And we don't know, we don't really have a marker for this yet. So it might be, uh, we are certainly uh, providing other immunology fields, other disease fields as well for, for some findings. But this, this particular region is only HIV related. I'm just thinking in terms of the, if we have a broader market, it may lead to more uh, you know, demonstrable uh, interest in, in spending the money and, the, and uh, having a payoff, so to speak, for industry. I, I, unfortunately, that's the way the, work, the world works. And, and that seems to me to be a um, broader application would certainly be a, a more attractive thing for uh, pharmaceutical companies to, uh, to look at. So, but we, uh, we hope that your, your work will continue and we uh, hope that you, uh, that you do well and you maybe present back here in another uh, time. And uh, we'll be moving in uh, a way that, that vaccines can be looked at uh, very promisingly, you know, from your, from your uh, partners group there. In, in yeah, we hope that we yeah. can move the field forward. Yes. Thank you very much. Thanks Appreciate a lot. It. Thank Thanks you. Later.